I have to make some corrections to previous demonstrations in this video. Stick around. Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm here to help you learn FreeCAD so you can design the things that you imagined. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of content. If you'd like to support the channel, you can also buy me a cup of coffee through the link in the description below. Now let's get started. Yannick Jacob pointed out that I'd made a mistake in my linear pattern tool video. So let's have a look at what I said, and then we'll look at a correction to that. This one is basically a cylinder with a fillet cut in the top. So if I select the fillet and then start the polar pattern tool, it doesn't seem to make any difference what sort of settings I choose. And the reason for this, I think, is because it's creating the linear pattern on the pillar itself. So as you can see, once we got to the z-axis direction, if I zoom in, you can see there's another fillet being created at the bottom. So what I was actually tr wanting to do was take this pillar with a fillet on it and create a linear pattern on the baseboard. The software is So it is possible to create a linear pattern of this pillar and its fillet. And I will show you how to do that now. Firstly, we're going to select the pad, then I'm going to press the control key and select the fillet, and then I'm going to start the linear pattern tool. Obviously, the, the copy is outside the solid, so we're getting an error. So I'm just going to reverse the direction, which will bring it back onto the solid, and then we will create one or an extra one. And you can see that it has created the copies with the fillet as well. Now I've created another model, which is basically a tower with two fillets around it. And we'll just see if we can use the same technique to include multiple fillets in the linear pattern. So I'm going to select the pad, which is the last pad and the two fillets. And then I'm going to start the linear pattern tool. And as you can see, the pattern has actually failed. Now what happens if I select both pads and both fillets? It creates the pattern and if we increase it, say OK. So you can create a linear pattern using multiple features within the model. You don't just have to use the last feature which is what I'd said in the previous video. I hope that makes it a little bit easier to understand. I made similar statements in my polar pattern tool video. So again, I'll show you what I said there and then I'll show you another way of doing it. And it doesn't appear to like complex features, which I'll demonstrate now. So to demonstrate this, we'll go back to the tool handle where I've added some fillets to the cutout. I've created two lots of fillets, one on the inside and one on the outside, and we'll use fillets on the outside as the starting point, and then we'll start the polar pattern feature. Now I'm running on an AMD 2700X, and it's taking quite some time to think about what it's doing. I'm going to speed this up in post-production just so that it doesn't take forever. Again, I'm going to make it for eight sides and my computer is thinking again. As you can see, we're getting a fu fusion with support error. That may be because of the plane, but I'm just trying to select the this axis here. Just don't think it's going to work. So I'll select that one and it's thinking again, but you can see it's still failing. It is taking quite a bit of time to do this. Still thinking if the temperatures on my CPU or anything to go on, it's uh, working pretty hard. Okay, and as you can see, it's finally given up. So in this instance, it would be, would be better to not have the fillets on the pot. In my previous video on the polar pattern tool, showed how I was trying to create fillets on this tool handle and I didn't quite get it right. So following on from the correction in the linear pattern tool, I thought I'd come back and try it again on the polar pattern tool. So what I've done is I've used the tool handle and I've created a fillet in the base of the pocket. So we're just going to select the pocket and the fillet, start the polar pattern tool. Now it's going to think for a little bit. So we're going to set the axis to be the base X axis and we're going to increase the number of instances to eight 
and you can see that the fillet has been included in the bottom of the pocket, which is what I wanted. So now I'm going to try and do the same thing with a fillet in the bottom of the pocket and also around the edge of the pocket. So I'm going to delete the polar pattern that I've just created and then add a new fillet. Now what we're going to do is we'll select the pocket, the fillet in the bottom and the fillet at the top. We'll start the polar pattern tool. Again, it's going to think for a bit. Okay, not sure that it's going to work, but what we'll do is we'll set the axis to be the base X axis and we will, when it gives me a chance, we'll set the number of occurrences to eight again. It currently appears to be thinking about it again because I can't change the number of occurrences. And it looks like we're not going to be able to succeed with this because it just says there's a transformation failure. I suspect it's got something to do with the shape of the fillet here because this is a curved shape, but I'm not 100% certain. So what we might try this time is to just apply the fillet to the pocket in a polar pattern. And then what we might try and do is add another polar pattern after that. Ooh, didn't like that at all. Try again. Yeah, it's not liking that at all. And you see how I think it's having trouble with this curve here. As you can see, this face on the fillet has become very, very large. And I think that might be what it is. Let's try some that and that. Polar pattern around the x-axis. No, it doesn't work that. Try that again. Okay, so it's having lots of trouble doing this particular one. Now, the last thing we're going to try is to extend the, the fillet to include the top surface as well and see what the polar pattern will do. And then we will select the pocket and the fillet and we'll try the polar pattern again. Somehow I expect this to fail given what we've seen of the fillets individually. But it's going to think about it for a while. Now let's try and make it work. So we'll put it around the base x-axis. Let it think for a bit. But I think you can see that we've got issues here. Okay, it's still saying the transformation failed. Let's increase the number to get to where we want it to be but I suspect that we're just going to fail in total. Okay, well you can see that it um, hasn't really worked. Again, I think the complexity of adding that top fillet on to the bottom one is just making it so much more difficult. Well, I hope you found that interesting. It's feedback from people like Yannick Jacob that helped me to improve the way I do things. So please leave feedback below if you have questions or have noticed things that I could do better please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below where you can buy me a cup of coffee. All donations to the channel will go to improving the quality of the content that I produce. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.